Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to perform a linear elastic analysis in STAD Pro. Before we get started, let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with our sample model and ensure that all of the steps to perform an analysis have already been complete. So let's turn our attention to STAD Pro. And the first area I'm going to take a look at is the properties area. In STAD Pro, it would be required that all members are assigned an initial section property and material properties before an analysis is performed. We use this information to assemble the stiffness matrix and to also calculate the self-weight and the mass of the structure. You can ensure that section properties and material properties have been assigned to all of the elements within your model by using the Select by Missing Property tool. Here, if I search for missing elasticity, that will identify any members that are missing a material property. If I select by missing property, that will select any members that are missing a property. So, so far, everything that we need for an analysis has been complete up through the properties area. Let's also take a look at the supports area. Now, in STAD Pro, every model must have at least one support before an analysis can be performed. As you can see, fixed supports have been supplied in this model at the base of each of our columns. Let's move on to the loading areas. In STAD Pro, it would be required for every model to have at least one load case with one load item in it. As you can see for this particular model, we have two gravity load cases, dead load and live load. We also have two lateral load cases for wind in the X and Z directions. We've also generated traditional load combinations for this particular model in preparation for our linear elastic analysis. Now this type of load combination will produce a set of load results, which will then be combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing. We can know that these are traditional load combinations by the symbol adjacent to the combinations, which will be a blue C. Now these types of load combinations would be appropriate for a linear elastic analysis. It is important to note that if you are performing any type of second order analysis, including a P-delta analysis, a direct analysis, or analysis that contains tension only or compression only members, you would need to generate repeat load cases to represent your load combinations. Let's go ahead and proceed on to the analysis page. Now we've already verified that our model has all the information that it needs in order to perform an analysis except for the analysis command. To specify an analysis command, you're going to go to the analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar and select the analysis commands option. Within the analysis print commands dialog, we're going to select the perform analysis tab. This will instruct the program to perform a linear elastic analysis or basically a stiffness analysis. Now the stiffness analysis implemented in STAD Pro is based on the matrix displacement method. In the matrix analysis of the structure by the displacement method, the structure is first idealized into an assembly of discrete structural components. Now whenever specifying any analysis command, you do have some print options available to you. What these will do is it'll add additional information to the output file after an analysis is performed. For this particular example, I'm performing a linear elastic analysis and I'm going to ask the program to print the statics check. Since I am performing a linear elastic analysis, I'm going to expect that the loads applied to the structure are equal to the reactions that are calculated by the program. Let's go ahead and add this information by clicking the Add button and then clicking Close. And here I can see that the analysis command has been added at the end of the analysis dialog, or basically at the end of the input file. At this point, let's go ahead and save our model and then perform an analysis. To perform an analysis, go to the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on your Run Analysis icon. 
After an analysis is performed, I like to look in this dialog to see if any errors or warnings were produced. If you did receive any errors or warnings, you can review that information in the output file. Now, since I don't have any errors or warnings for this particular model, I'm safe to go ahead and review the results in the output file. So let's start there. Let's go ahead and say view the output file, click done. Now within the output file, I should be able to see any errors or warnings in the error list down below. For this particular model, I didn't receive any of those, so I can go ahead and close that dialog. Over in the left-hand pane, I will be able to see the results of the static check since I asked the program to include that in the output file. For each of my load cases, I'll be able to see the applied load and then the total reaction load for that particular load case. And that's available for any load cases within your model. In addition to that, if I wanted to review the static check results, I can do that also in the post processor. Let's go ahead and close out of the output file. I'm going to navigate to the post processor and click OK. In the workflow page control area, I'm going to select the reactions area and I should be able to see a static check results table. For each individual load case, I'd be able to see the loads that were applied, the reactions, and then the difference. Since I'm performing a linear elastic analysis, I'm expecting the difference for each of these load cases to equal zero, as no second order effects are considered in this type of analysis. At this point, this completes my process for performing a linear elastic analysis in STAD Pro, and I can proceed on to review the rest of my results either in the output file or the post processor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.